It's been 91 years since the discovery of a Neanderthal skull, also that of a child, in Gibraltar. Now the Vanguard Cave Tooth joins the Devil's Tower and Forbes Quarry skulls, what remains of three people for whom the rock was long ago their home. It's a promising start to this year's excavations, with the tiny tooth discovered by sieving and sifting through sediment from the cave back at the museum lab. I opened it up and normally you sort of just tie it up and um, I, I picked up this tooth and I'm only a second year so I was like, I can't be right, but my heart like, like dropped a little bit and um, I just thought, that doesn't look like an animal. We're always very, very cautious with these things. Even though we might identify and know what we're looking at, we always like specialists to confirm it. So then we went through a process of sending photographs to the people who we feel are specialists and, and uh, people working at the Puerca and also from University College London. Um, and we had a process of toing and froing overnight with photographs and they confirmed uh, the identity of the tooth as being human. Unlike Gorham's cave, Vanguard has not been excavated till very recently, with the dunes still covering whatever else might be preserved in its depths. What's known, however, is that the level currently being excavated was frequented by hyenas, not Neanderthals, suggesting a sad story behind this child's tooth. What we have found in that level is unlike, for example, some of the levels you've seen in Gorham's where there's a fire and there's tools and everything, there's no evidence of occupation by people there. What we find is a lot of evidence of hyena denning there. And we know what hyenas are like and what they can do. So finding the tooth, and hopefully we might find more remains in that level, we've got time, um, suggests to us that one possibility is that it was dragged in by a hyena. It's a milk tooth, but it's still got the root, so it hasn't been shed. Um, and that would add weight to that hypothesis. This discovery of Neanderthal remains at the Gorham's Cave complex comes during its first year as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It uh, vindicates everything that we've invested in in the World Heritage Site. The government has supported this project from the beginning, was very, very pleased and proud that it got accepted as a World Heritage Site. And now for the first time in all this time, we have direct uh, remains of a Neanderthal, a child, uh, just a tooth, but you never know what else might be there. Hugely significant for Gibraltar and completely justifies the investment that, uh, that Gibraltar and of course Clive and his team at the museum have put into this. Further research will be carried out on the tooth, looking into the Neanderthal child's diet and DNA. And with both Vanguard and Gorham's caves set for further excavations this summer, who knows what or who is waiting to be discovered?